Okay, well, hello viewers, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Valiant Hearts. So, apparently the combination is two, or four, I don't know, four, six, eight, I think, was it? So, yeah, I've, I really don't know how you were supposed to come to the conclusion of that. Uh, the reason being is that, okay, so they're not in any orders, right? And then, and then it gets you this. Uh, the thing being is that, as, as you saw before, I mean, once you key in two and six, it turns green, but, like, nothing happens after that right so i mean going off of this uh, I, I thought it was like maybe you you did either only numeral roman numerals or only uh the the arabic numbers right but no apparently um apparently you're just yeah i guess you're supposed to only do the only the numbers here i, I guess you could make the conclusion that i mean there are no roman numerals there but then it's like why do all of these light up at the same time and what do we have here? Oh, we have all the plans for some of the things we've seen so far. So we've already seen the gas thing. Seen the blimp already. Haven't seen the tank, though, so I guess that will come forth. But, okay, uh, let's see. We have chemical formula. What is this? Chlorine gas, 2Cl plus 2CHO does things. And, ah, okay, so now we got to backtrack. Yeah, still, <laughs> I have no idea how you're supposed to just kind of go with that. It's more or less the fact that it uh it it shows the green blips for 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 both the Roman numeral sign side of things and the uh the other half too. Oh, that's not good. Okay. So I think we know what to do here. We're supposed to get up there, but the door is unfortunately blocked. So we'll have to find something to throw up there and hopefully demolish everything over there. Luckily, uh, let's see, this door. Yeah. Luckily, there's a supply of grenades hidden inside this thing. So there we go. Take one and hope we don't miss, I guess. There we go. So let's see, how should I make this throw? Yeah, that should do it. Okay, perfect. Clears up both both ends of the stairway as well. And we get to do another one of these things. So the first time I saw this person up here, I thought it was um, I thought it was an optional section. Maybe it was for one of the collectible items or something like that. I don't know, uh, but I guess not. So let's get all of that. Oh, bandaged up. There we go. The governess revealed to her that her father, an eminent scientist, had been kidnapped by Baron von Dorn, who was eager to use scientific advances in warfare. Anna set out in pursuit of the Baron and encountered Emil and Freddy. Destiny brought them together. They had survived the enemy's wrath, their gunfire, bombardments, Gas attacks. Oh my, they went back. Huh. Now, with her father within reach, Anna wasn't going to let him sleep. Ah, so now we have to find the people. Okay. Let's see, where did the meal go? Huh. Oh, I just love the woods in the back there. That is wonderful. Okay, so... What? 
I guess we're supposed to sneak through here. What is this? Uh, let's see. Virtue Mary, statuette, and case. Huh. I don't know if there's any penalty for just beating the crap out of these people, but uh, we'll see. We'll see sure enough. Okay, well, at least did he... did he, <laughs> he just walk past it. <laughs> the line of incapacitated guards, too. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh. Some lovely flames right over there. Life and death of the Zeppelin and facial disfiguration. Okay. Again, if you guys want to pause the video and read those, be or feel free to. I am not going to, because I think that's too much detail, at least for the sake of this. What do we have here? Have another letter. So many of these letters. Let's. Let, ah, it's gone already. Uh oh. Ah, uh, so we need a counterbalance. So I'm guessing I stand here. There we go. That works nicely. <laughs> well, that's quite nice. Really, really convenient for us just to have all of that right there. Okay, but in the meantime, let's take a look at what else is along the side of the map. We can get another item right over here. Let's see whether or not this has an effect on what we're trying to do right now. Probably not. Or no? No, it does. Okay. So that was one thing down so far. We can check this as well. Not too bad. It's this little tin can thing that serves multiple purposes. Huh. That's not good. Alright, well, let's see what's over here. Anything good? Nope. Okay. Ah, that, that works. I think that was the sole purpose of that, uh, that can. So, uh, we come over here, drag the thing down, and hey, he's fine. Oh. Try that.
still has the spoon and the, and the chains on and all that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What are we supposed to do here? Oh. Well, luckily both of us are still in one piece. Ah, he just goes around. Okay, not bad. Oh, that's really neat. Uh, let's see. Oh, and now we control him. Okay. Let's see. Uh, right over there. We do this side, I, I suppose. There we go. Ah. Let's see, shiny bottle or something over there. I can't pick it up, though. Hmm. Where did the meal go? Oh, I see. I can send it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This works too. Don't know why we have to be so stealthy around our own troops as well. But okay. Fair enough. Uh, so I'm guessing we... We... Get some more dynamite like that. Uh, send it across, but you know what? I want to pick up this bottle or, or thing first. See what it is. Uh, so it is a sterilizing solution. Okay. Here, let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, I don't think it'll actually explode. Okay, um, in that case, we arc it over into the fire. There we go, that works. Perfect. Okay, um, why don't we give that right back to the dog? And then we go over here. They've been really creative with uh, with all of the background foreground stuff. It's really neat. Ah, okay. Now we have to. Oh, okay. Merci, mon ami. That works too. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, so. Is that it? No, we still cannot get through this. Huh. So I'm guessing we still have to do something with the dynamite here. Ah! Light this thing on fire, bring it close to the engine, and then chuck the dynamite through- ah, oh, damn. Th in the flames, through it. Since this is all in 2D, it should go right into the engine. Close enough. So that works nicely. And is that our car back there, or is that someone else's? Oh, that's not good either. Victory had a bittersweet taste for Anna. Carl, seriously wounded, had been sent to a POW camp. Anna's father had disappeared with Baron von Dorf, and Emil was court martialed for desertion. Cited for his bravery in Rance, Emil was fortunately pardoned and set free. Free to go back to the front.
February 21st, 1916, winter had descended on the front. After joining back up with the army, Emil and Freddy were stationed near Verdun, suffering like many others from the harsh winter. That morning, the arrival of the mail raised spirits, but Marie's letter did not bring good news. In San Miel, food was scarce, disease was rife, and the number of dead was growing. Out of this grim news, however, there was one ray of light, a photo of his grandson, Victor, standing on both feet and learning to walk. Oh, isn't that nice? Here, let's see what this is all about. I guess we're supposed to follow him? No, we play as a meal this time. Um, so, it's February, nice chilly winter and all that. And, ah, so we're supposed to find the stuff to uh, write a letter, but you know what? I think we'll make a cut right over here and continue on next time in, well, Valiant Hearts.